Hello, this is Richard Grace from IPI, and I am demonstrating the effect of temperature on calibration of pH sensors. Transmitter 1 on the left was calibrated at the correct temperature for the solution, which was displaying about 21 degrees. Now, sensor on the right was calibrated after leaving it warm. It's currently thinking that it's 51.7 degrees in here, which is a little bit warm for me. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to see the effect of this calibration over time on these two transmitters. We're hoping to see the one on the left be stable and the one on the right is going to change a bit. So let's just come back in a few minutes and see what's happened. Okay, so five minutes in. Let's have a look at what's been happening. Transmitter on the left, calibrated correctly, seems to be holding pH pretty well around that pH 4. Now the one on the right seems to be dipping down a bit. Let's have a look what's happening. Well the temperature is down now to 44.3 slowly drifting down. As you can see, these things can take quite a long time to equilibrate. We'll keep it running for a while, but this is a pretty good example of the effect that temperature can have on calibration measurements. Let's come back in uh, five minutes. Okay, ten minutes in. What are we looking like? Well, on the left, the transmitter that was calibrated correctly, we're reading, you know, 3.98, 3.99, we're pretty good there. On the right, what are we looking at? Now we're coming down a bit further. 36, 3.78, 3.8, thereabouts. We're still looking at 39.1 degrees. Temperature on the left, 22.2. About right for this room. This one, as you can see, still coming down. It takes a long time to get to equilibrium. Let's see what happens again in the next five minutes. Okay, 15 minutes in. Again, the transmitter on the left appears to be holding its calibration pretty well around that 3.99. 4 mark is fine, and on the right, down at 3.74, so we've shifted quite a lot. As you can see, it's down to about 35 degrees C, so we're getting closer to what we should be, but temperature over here is saying 22. Now the sensor, 22, 23, so we're probably heating up because it's touching the other sensor a little bit, but that's fine. Well, let's just have a look at 30 minutes when hopefully everything's going to be in equilibrium, and then uh, we'll go from there. Okay, so coming up on the 30 minute mark, what do we got? Transmitter on the left looks pretty good still. So pretty close to 4, maybe slightly out, but that's no, that's no big deal. Now if we look at the one on the right, we're at 3.66. After 30 minutes, that sensor is only still, the TC is still reporting 29.1 degrees. So it's still pretty high. How big's the actual error? Well, let's have a look. Let's just unlock the transmitter. And we're going to set the temperature to what it is. So I'm looking over here. We're looking at 22 degrees. Now let's go back. So, the error that we've got there, we're looking at almost half a pH. When it's actually measuring what it is, the solution is at 22 degrees over here. That incorrect calibration when we calibrated when our sensor was at 50 degrees, when the solution was actually closer to 20, it's almost half a pH unit. It's quite a big error source. It's something we want to try and keep an eye out for. It's something we want to try and compensate for. Alrighty, Richard Grace signing out.